A day after his State of the State address, Governor Walker wants lawmakers to consider his tax cut plan. The governor called for a special legislative session today. No word on when lawmakers will convene. The plan Walker outlined last night includes a $406 million property tax reduction and a $98 million income tax cut. He says there is possible. He says those are both possible by the excess state revenue. The cuts have to be passed by the legislature before any of them take effect. Now, this tax plan that the governor is proposing increases the projected shortfall for the budget starting in 2015 by $100 million. Some people in Green Bay have mixed reactions about the surplus money and adding to a possible deficit. Fox 11's Andrew Lacombe has more. Meaningful tax cuts. That keep the tax cuts Governor Scott Walker has proposed aren't what Stephanie Heyer, a single mother from Green Bay, wants to see from her state government. I can definitely use $101, but at the same time, you know, it's not going to change people's lives to have 101 extra more dollars, where when you cut someone off of Badger Care, it changes their life. Heyer wants the governor to spend the state surplus money on health care and other programs. I think when we cut social programs, it leads to more crime and other problems in our communities. And I hope that he's taking everything, the whole big picture, into consideration. Governor Walker's plan would amount to an income and property tax savings of about $150 for the typical family of four that owns a home. John Leslie of Pound, a retiree who is now self-employed, would welcome that tax relief. If the government is, state government is operating the way it should and they have extra money, it should go back to the taxpayer. He isn't worried about a future budget deficit, but Andrew Joppe, a retail worker in Green Bay, is. I think that the governor should focus on the deficit first and then work on tax cuts. I understand how tax cuts help the economy and I'm all for support of that in this time with a bad economy, but I really do think that he should balance the budget first. Now, some Republicans, including Governor Walker, believe the entire deficit will be eliminated if the economy continues to improve and tax revenues increase. And again, we're still not sure when the legislature will meet to be discussing the tax cuts.